Right, it's pointing the laundromat out for me. Maybe that's where I can get some wire cutters. I'm not sure about the wire cutters, but I know that if you're going the motel route, you can steal clothes from there to pass as a human. Well, might as well get fancy anyway. Yeah, can do. Enter Sesame. That's not the phrase. <laughs> Let's see, whose clothes can I steal? All of them. What's over here? More shit to sift through. The bee line to disaster. I think the bees are fine now, by the way, so this is our date. I don't know, look at the fucking size of that. That's a problem in itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, giant bees will destroy us all. <laughs> oh, it's like that one galaxy boss, except she spread. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're officially extinct. Okay, so this is officially fan fiction now. It's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback. My husband got an android pregnant somehow. <laughs> How the fuck? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, that's someone from the development team, no doubt. More than likely. Uh, hey, Jeff, can we take your picture for this magazine? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! The open washing machine. Program's complete. Excuse me, miss. Miss, this is my clothes. Okay, he's asleep right now. Or just distracted by his music, so... Yeah, uh, he looks like he's conked out. We need them, Do you want to get hyperthermia? Dude's chilling right now. He's chilling like a villain. Let's take our opportunity. Free shit, free shit. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> you only steal clothes once. <laughs> I hope you don't mind dressing like a five foot tall man. <laughs> it's fine, we'll fit right in. What, my opinion went down because I was trying to help her? Yeah, but Alice is into her morals apparently and doesn't like theft because she gave you that funny look about stealing when you're in the shop. <sighs> well... I'm looking out for her best interests, okay? But you're still a thief. I guess so. Huh? Mission accomplished. Clothes stolen. <laughs> you gotta get away first. Thank you, convenient steel basket. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Alice, come on, we gotta get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna talk to her. It's fine, he's fast asleep, you got time. Yeah. It's a bit on the nose, a bit contrived, but I'll deal with it. I've dealt with more contrived situations. It's okay. He was nodding. Oh, cute. See, she covered up her LED, she's fine. Hold on. Why did he have clothes for two in there? Well, were they just his? Good point. People have families who have clothes I in know. their washing, you know. <laughs> Tom, you know the idea of families exists, right? Jesus. David Cage has tricked me again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking video games and their uh, social contact. <laughs> okay, I still need wire cutters, and I'm not entirely sure where they are. Nothing in there. Maybe the motel actually does have wire cutters, we'll see. Possibly. I'm not, I haven't seen anywhere else that you can get to, unless we've completely missed something. Just keep scanning, Tom. Hokey cokey. This is the only option we have left. Can I go in? Is it, or if they, sh they might shut that off, actually, given you fucked up your chance? Hmm. I don't know. Unless there's something, like, through at the back of the motel. Possibly. We must examine all angles, Flame. This is David Cage we're talking about. He would have left no stone on turn. Nope, gotta be discreet. We can't just stroll straight in. Oh, oh no. Did we just get a dirty look? Yeah, I think we did. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm stealing, I'm stealing. You had a perfectly good car, but no, Alice has got to be picky. Yeah. Well, there's a sign there, but... uh. Still can't enter. Just keep walking and scanning, Tom. Walking and scanning. 
You'll find it eventually, maybe. I'll find you, and when I do, oh boy. This is a game of persistence now. There's got to be another way in that doesn't require wire cutters. I don't think they'd make it that, like, linear and whatnot. No? I wonder if you can get back in the shop now you're just, like, wearing a different outfit. Oh, good point. I didn't think about that. I don't know, but it might be worth a shot. Let's have a look. She's walking slowly. Too risky. Oh, maybe we can't. Fuck it, we're going to sleep in the car. <laughs> Although wire cutters could be in this particular area. Mm, I think it might be easier to set with a car, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we looked around, we couldn't find it. But hey, this is our journey. And in our journey, we're just too lazy to look for cars. Oh, hello. What's this over here? I swear, if this is wire cars... <laughs> Walk round, walk round. Wait, what was over here? Cut fence with wire cutter. But I'm on the other side of the fence now. Yeah, but I think that's like the house is between. What's that over there at the back? Hmm. Yellow thing. Machinery. No different than you or I. Oh! Wire cutters! We found it! Huzzah! Finalists, we're not sleeping in the car today. <laughs> oh, we're fucking royalty now, mate. <laughs> God, this poor child. She hasn't even eaten, like, the fucking Hershey Kiss bar that I stole for her. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much like, she was made her walk around as well. She's probably fucking knackered. <laughs> Still, it's uh, a far cry in terms of like living quality than uh, she had at home. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Okay, cut that shit. We breaking in, lads. Snip, snip, goes the clip. Okay, Alice, mind you, don't cut your supple human flesh on this. There you go. A very similar thing happens in uh, Ethan Mars' story in Heavy Rain. Yeah, when you got to break into the zappy place. Oh no, I cut myself. Hopefully I don't leave any traces there. Hopefully you don't let go and ping it in her face. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. We're horrible. Oh, uh, well, you're just now discovering that. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to be compared to you, okay? Oh, I'm a perfectly nice person. Let's see, we can enter through multiple ways here, each more wonderful than the last. Which way is the least likely to get us hurt? Hmm, can't do that. What about this? I don't think there's any, like, David Cage hobos living in here. How about we just enter through the door? Okay, apparently we can't do that either. I have exhausted all my options, and Alice is fucking run off. God damn it, we make progress, and the second we look away, she's gone. Oh no. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. This is silly. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. Not true. Fundamentally not he true. Let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Justify. Gotta be logical. All we want is a place to spend the night. There you go. We're getting through to him, Flame. Are we? Oh no, they turn him into the Terminator. Uh, reassure. I may not be Connor, but I'm a decent hostage negotiator all the same. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Well, at least he's not fully cuckoo, so uh, I'll accept the apology. And we shall stay here for the night. But I will be watching Ralph at all times, let me tell you. 
<laughs> yeah, can you go in the Ralph room, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ralph won't hurt you. Stay. Okay. Thank you, Ralph. What you fucking you not a bot of that EXO. I'm gonna be honest, I would go with the car in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, and then just clutch to Ralph in the backseat or something. <laughs> yeah, Ralph just sticks his head up as you're just about to drop off. First thing you see when you wake up is just Ralph above you with a knife. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Wait, wasn't this door closed before? When did you open it? Um. Uh, Using his Ralph powers. I guess. Actually, no, I think we were examining it, and then we noticed Alice had escaped. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. And practice my stabbing. He'd like to stay with you. But he has things to do. So just stabbing. <laughs> he has things to do, that's not reassuring. <laughs> uh, find a better place tomorrow. I mean, Ralph could come in handy as a unstable bodyguard. Let's see where you can sleep. Yeah, I prefer stable bodyguards, you know, they're less likely to turn and attack me. Yeah, that's very true, Flame, very true. You always have compelling arguments, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> Someone's got to have some fucking reason. <laughs> Make bed for Alice. Start fire! <laughs> <laughs> I took those two as part of the same statement. Oh, uh, let's see what we're working with here. There you go. Some kindling. For the fire. What else we got? Play Pac-Man. Get high score. Drop the newspapers. Is this safe? Mate, we're squatting in an abandoned house with a stabby android in the other room. Yeah, but I'm sure burning down while we're asleep is an extra problem that we have to worry about. I guess so. So, I gotta find matches and I gotta get wood. Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, there's the wood sword. You really like the androids, though. Oh, yeah. There you go. Drop that shit. And now we just need matches. See, Ralph's- oh, I've got matches already. That solves that problem. Ralph doesn't like fire! Here you go, warm your human flesh. See, what else can I do? Find blanket. Is this a blanket? That's a pillow of sorts. But I can still make a damn good bed. That looks like you've got a blanket there. Place bed near fireplace. There you go. Preferably not too near. <laughs> not inside. Not the bed of fire. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. I appreciate that soulless abomination. She's trying, bless her. I mean, she was already, like, recommissioned. Why didn't he ever love me? Oh, boy. Why was he always Human so feelings. I don't know, Alice. I don't know why your dad was just a, such a shit heel, honestly, but David Cage will tell us, I'm sure. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Oh my god, how, as an android, do you even begin to respond to this? I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. I'm your family now, Alice. I'm the only MacBook you'll ever need. <laughs> until they upgrade me in two years. Yeah, until I get hit by another car. I oh know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. <sighs> Ooh, fine. <laughs> She needs hope right now. That's a commitment. Forever. Forever. Well, I mean, you won't be. I'll live until, like, my processor dies, but... You've got at least another 60 years on you if you eat right, exos. What are these processes that are being unlocked inside my heart unit? Is this... love? <laughs> no, even robots have motherly instincts. I guess so. It wouldn't be a David Cage game if they didn't. Hmm, <laughs> true. <laughs> 
I mean, it is very on the nose so far, but I haven't seen anything that really sticks out apart from, like, the usual, hey, you're taking our gerbs and stuff like that. Also, standing at the back of the bus. That's the worst defender so far. Yeah, and that's another one, though, that it kind of... The correlation doesn't really work in the fact that it arguably is just more practical to have the robots at the back of the bus in that tiny little compartment. Yeah, basically. <laughs> So, well done, Cage. You're accidentally justifying racism. <laughs> there you go. Aww. I'll just lie here, because I don't actually need to sleep, but... Neither does Ralph. He stabs all day. Every single day. <sighs> well, we got through that without burning Alice alive, so... Got to take the small victories. <laughs> God, look at all these choices. Yeah, well, you get complete different tales depending on whether you go to the motel. I assume there's other stuff that happens in the car, you know. Yeah, look at all this shit. Steel chocolate bar. Da -da -da. I mean, you got a lot of, like, um, incentive to play again, so that's something that the other games don't really have, because what's different there apart from endings? Jesus. I am glad I don't have to reboot my computer like that. <laughs> I'm gonna need a new body, and then I'm gonna find Leo, and I'm gonna put him in a wheelchair! <laughs> and then I'll get shot again, and this tiger will start all over again. <laughs> Diagnose problem, shit's fucked up. Let's see what we got here. Corrupted mind powers. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even clicked onto that. I have a broken heart. Uh, da -da -da -da. What else have we got over here? I don't know because I actually can't say shit right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit dark, and not just because he's black. Jeez, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I'm just like prompting people right here. Uh, where's the fourth one? I ain't got no legs! Oh, yeah, that's a slight problem. Unable to stand. Well, it's time to build myself out of other defective, like, <laughs> droids and whatnot. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. It is. It sort of a little bit overwhelming with the audio effects to me listening on headphones, but it's still a cool idea. I get what they're going for, at least. Mm -hmm. Ah, some fresh legs right before me. I didn't know they grew back. Right leg component is functional. Somebody throw out a perfectly functional android leg. God. Oof. That could have been a lot worse. This is incredibly convenient as far as robot healthcare goes. It's interesting, I'm not hearing any sound effects here. Is that, like, supposed to happen? Yeah, because he hasn't got his, like, auditory unit, has he? There you go. Does this work? It's damaged and incompatible. Piece of shit. Don't even want it. Get the fuck out of here. Wasting my goddamn time. <laughs> Can't they make universal robot legs? Yeah, go away. This is my story, and you're not part of it. But if you've got any spare limbs, uh, just keep me in mind. There you go. Oh, gotta do it slowly. Yeah. I haven't seen any, like, do stuff slowly things just yet, actually. I can't remember where they show up. But they do show up, you're saying? They seem to recall some... I, I suppose there was that one thing with Connor at the start, wasn't there, of not approaching the Deviant too quickly. Mm-hmm. See, we have the hold ones. Yeah, we have don't suddenly jump up because we're using brand new components. <laughs> Digital worlds are fucked up, mate. This is really cool. 
like I say, I find it a little bit on the oppressive side, but you know, that's me. Jesus Christ. I suppose this is how you get away with like making human like uh, graveyards and whatnot. Basically. Alright, duly noted. I completely understand, Crazy Robot Man. I could use a new head. Nah. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. I, I'll use the one I was made with. <laughs> yeah, but that one's bold. <laughs> Marcus is also bold. He's got little bits of hair, I can swear. Oh, it's just very short. Keep walking, Marcus. You can do it. Oh my god, this is some fucking David Bowie's Labyrinth shit. <laughs> Can you fuckers please leave me alone? <laughs> Props for the visual imagery. Oh, no, no, no. Seems like someone else had the idea of let's take a better head. Yep. Ooh, creepy. So we've still got a few spare parts we need to replace, and finding them in this shit heap's gonna be some work. <laughs> yeah. See, like, I can't actually use Android Vision anymore. It's too damaged, too damaged. I think you need new eyes for that. It's functional but incompatible. It's because fucking white in it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find me some black Android eyes. <laughs> Is that how it works? I guess. I don't know, I don't write these games. Hmm, examine. Come on, just give me your eyes. You're not using them anymore. Well, at least have something we can nick. Yeah. Absolutely fuck all. Alright, let's keep moving. Go towards the sources of light, I suppose. Oh. Hello. Status, no eyes. Oh, okay. We got eyes, lads. <laughs> Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care, I want your eyes. My program has detected an anomaly. Yeah. There's probably some symbolism for, like, gaining new eyes, you know? It probably is, but... I see the world as it was meant to be seen! <laughs> now I just want to be able to hear shit. Yeah. Who's got the ears? Okay, so we need a new pump regulator and a new audio processor, but at least I can scan now, so this narrows it down a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at here. It is very dark. Heap of shit, I think. Over there. I'm coming for your bits. Please reword that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. Yeah, I'm too fucked up right now. I gotta get the damage parts. Examine. I need your pump regulator, my friend. You mean my hand? No, your heart. Take. If you think about it from Marcus's perspective, this is really fucked up. <laughs> Not really, because this would be something he would be used to, wouldn't it? Well, if you can't think of like us crawling around a graveyard looking for new limbs to replace broken ones. They're androids, mate. They're not human, despite what the cover of the game might have you believe. Yeah, but, you know, they're an oppressed social group just like people. <sighs> sure, we'll go with that for now, just so I don't vomit. <laughs> right, what else are we working with here? Ah, hello there. Give me your fucking ears, I'm getting bored of this. <laughs> they usually give me your ear, or lend me your ear would be metaphorical, but this one's literal. Hmm. That's convenient. 
so I have a new heart, so I understand the situation. I have new eyes, so I can see the situation. And I have new ears, so I can hear the truth. Well, I mean, the heart thing's bollocks, because we can tell the fact that he clearly thinks from his brain. Yep, oh my god. That's pretty cool, actually, how it all just comes rushing in. Yeah, this quirky digital signal that still hasn't been fixed by the year 2039 or whenever. <laughs> Hey, was it a little bit over here? Hmm, I just saw a prompt for something. Now oh, here we go. Climb that motherfucking slope. Keep them held, Tom. You can let go once they're done. And try not to make a stumble like I always did with that fucking Nam Jaden sequence where he's climbing the <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious though. Oh, that was not R1. It's a good job he didn't punish me. That's our one. This is a really well done sequence, I have to say. I like the music kicking up now because it's progressing as he's getting closer to the surface, isn't mm -hmm. it? So far, it's Connor who hasn't taken the most steps forward in his story. He's still just serving his purpose, but I think that's going to change on a dime pretty soon. Well,. Connor seems to be actively in use in his job, yeah. whereas the other two have both had to leave for various reasons. And Marcus has been essentially reborn here, so... Got to get that pseudo-religious symbolism going here. I don't know, this kind of works for me. It, it works, it's just, you know, it, I feel like they're just playing off that, but it's the music that makes this scene for me. Oh, what am I doing? Slowly, got to remove that LED, ain't you? Oh, you're making me go crab claw with us. To be fair, nothing in either this or Beyond Two Souls is anywhere near as bad as some of the claw motions that you have to make in every own. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that one sequence where you're crawling through the electric fences, that is the absolute fucking worst for her. Okay, now I need some new robo clothes. Oh, that's a cool show. Yeah, I have awoken. My name is Marcus. Oh, yes! <laughs> We're doing this. <laughs> That was really fucking cool. I'm sorry, but if it's stupid, I'll say it's stupid. If I find it, like, intriguing, I will call it intriguing. Marcus came back from the dead. That is fucking metal. <laughs> nice. Here we go. The good guy. The Uncle Tom, just trying to do his best to serve his human masters. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God paradise compared to the underworld we were just in. And I think um, since this is a nice place, we're going to leave it here just for now and uh, end the recording session because I think we've got a, a good chunk so far. So um, please join us next time where our journey through Detroit Become Human continues. For you guys, it probably won't even be like a day until the next upload or it may be like a couple of days over the weekend. I don't know. But this has been really enjoyable so far. I think this is the strongest start out of pretty much any of David Cage's games besides Indigo Prophecy so far. So uh, I'm definitely impressed so far. What do you think, Flo? Yeah, like it does start off really strongly. I haven't really got reference from Indigo Prophecy start except for like, you know, the whole stabbing in the bathroom sort of deal. But <laughs> yeah. This, I feel like it's got the good middle ground of it contextualizes things without becoming mundane. And I like that a lot, and it's a really good like, foundation for where the story's going to go from here. For sure, mate. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for more Detroit Become Human. Bye-bye. <laughs>